Good morning everybody. Today we are cleaning out some corrals. We're just taking the manure that built up over the course of summer out of there right before winter right now. And uh, we're gonna work on corral three. We got them chased out and into the chute system here just so that there's no cows in that corral while I'm working away in there. I already got five corrals done. Just cleaned them out. This is corral five, our older steers clean them out and we also dump dirt all in all the holes in the corrals like around the water bowl a lot of the time it's kind of got a dip a low spot so we just got to fill dirt in there i uh, just been grabbing the dirt from our massive topsoil pile just behind the corrals there i don't know if you guys can see it right there and uh yeah that's what we're doing today that one's done and this is the one that i'm going to start working on this morning Probably only two, maybe two and a half loads of manure in here, not even. So we got it all kind of pushed onto one nice size pile here. I can back the manure wagon now in and I uh, won't have to scoop right around it. But pushing it all up under that pile, I noticed this tire is getting pretty low. I know on our New Holland that's an issue, but usually not on this thing. I've never seen this tire go low. So hopefully I pump it up now and uh, that doesn't happen again. But you never know, this could be a slow leaking tire now too. Well, I guess there's some traffic in the feed alley this morning. <laughs> got our tire pumped up there. Now I'm gonna grab our manure wagon and back it into this corral here. That's our first full load out of this corral. We might get one, one and a half more out of here. One thing you gotta constantly watch out for when you're scooping these corrals out is that you don't take too much dirt too long. You're gonna have to scoop all the dirt back in the corral that you load into the wagon with that top soil pile and that just takes a ton of time. So I'm really trying to uh, only take the manure and not scoop any dirt by digging too low. So our corrals are just a bunch of wind breaks and then the feed bunk at the front is concrete with some drill stem fencing there. So the front is pretty solid, but the sides and the wind breaks here, it's literally just railway ties and then two by six slabs. So they're pretty, pretty weak. And this wall is pretty old as well. All the curls on this side of the feedlot here are older than the new ones over there. So they're kind of more brittle and the walls and the slabs on the side, you can definitely tell are weaker. So I gotta be really careful cleaning up these piles along the edge of this wind break. Uh, the reason why we have these tall two by six slabs is because in the winter time, a lot of the time it gets pretty windy. And if it's minus 20 outside, the cows do need a wind break. So you can see kind of every side here is protected from the wind. Kind of makes cleaning these curls out a little tougher. 
and you got to take a little bit more time and be a little bit more careful but we're just gonna clean up along the edges now and then this corral will be cleaned out put some sand in there and uh, go for the next one Awesome, we got the dirt just behind the feed bunk here. It was pretty low there, just three buckets. Dad's waiting there, we're gonna chase this corral back in here. Play it, Ace. Back to your clean corral. Hey. We got corral one started and uh, piled all up. I think that's all the stuff we're actually gonna take out of here, that one pile. There we go. That's all we're gonna be taking out of here. Just because this is the corral with the smallest animals in here, there wasn't a ton of manure in there and we already scraped it off of the concrete there a little while ago, so there's not a lot in here, it'll be quick. We definitely gotta dump some dirt and even some gravel, some crushed gravel if we have it. I don't know if we do or not, but we'll dump some right there, just behind the concrete there. So that's corral one done. Just a perfectly full load and uh, that works out pretty nice. So underneath the shelter here, I didn't go under. There's probably two to three inches of manure here. But every time you scoop manure out of the corrals, you tend to take a little bit of sand with you. Can I even talk? I can't even talk today guys. Just give me a second. But every time you take manure out of the corrals or scoop it out, you take a thin layer of sand along. So I figured, you know what, it's probably not worth getting that last two inches of manure out of the back of the corrals. We'll take it out next spring. It's not that much. It's maybe half a load per corral, maybe a load per corral. And then we'll save on the dirt in here. Every couple of years, you pretty much have to refill these corrals with dirt. And that takes a long time. It's a lot of extra work. So if we can scoop it out less and leave more of the sand in there over the course of a couple of years, we'll save a lot of labor and time that we would otherwise have to spend refilling these corrals. The corrals have to be level, otherwise as soon as it rains, the cows are walking in a slough and uh, that's not ideal for their health. But we'll go and dump this load and then we'll grab a little bit of sand, top her up. That's another corral. Got the dirt topped up in there. Put the calves back in there. Now we'll take out this corral. It's our second last corral. Probably one of the fullest corrals as well. So there'll be a couple loads of manure in there. And then we have the last one back there. We'll probably get to that on Tuesday. Getting lots of things done, it's nice.
So dad just hopped into the loader. Basically what he was doing there, he was just scraping all of the spilled feed right out in front of those feed bunks. It's probably best if he does it, then uh, if the bunks do get knocked in, it wasn't me that did it. Awesome, we got the cows back in corral eight here. Now we're gonna go and milk cows. But first, there's a fresh calf in here. We're gonna go bring it to the calf barn and put mama inside the barn and then we can milk her this afternoon yet. And um, yeah, just put the calf in its individual calf pen. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just run like all the way over there so I don't have to carry you. How's that sound, huh? Oh, there we go. Oh. Clumsy little bugger. <laughs> That's how you learn. All right. We'll pick you up. Yeah, get you standing nicely. <laughs> yeah, just stay right there. I gotta wash my boots off before we go into that calf room. All right? All right, perfect. A nice little calm cat. Oh, gotta get your boots too. <laughs> That's where it's going. Just make sure all the doors are open. A little heifer calf. Let's see if I can grab her myself. Sweet. Nobody else got out. That's good. have made it to the end of the video comment down below cute calf is that calf we pulled out of the corral this afternoon it was a pretty cute little bugger that is going to be it for today's video guys if you enjoyed be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below check out the instagram at sass dutch kid i think we're almost at 10,000 followers on the instagram so maybe today we'll hit that and uh, i hope to see you guys in the next video thanks for watching